When the big man was killed, you must have wanted it. Its blood was on the leaves. Actress Elpidia Carrillo. Despite working with Hollywood biggies like Michael Caine, Richard Gere, Johnny Depp, Will Smith, and Jack Nicholson, amongst a horde of other actors, is to date fondly remembered for her role as Anna Gonsalves, a member of the guerrilla force operating in Valverde, who gets captured by Major Alan Dutch Schaefer and his elite special forces crew. Carrillo's character Anna also appeared in the second movie, in what is only fitting to address as a blink or you'll miss it cameo, thereby being the only recurring character to make an appearance in the entire Predator franchise. What is even more surprising is that the sequel to the original Predator movie was supposed to feature a lot more than just a momentary flash of Carrillo's Anna. As per reports, Carrillo did film a brief cameo for the sequel, which at the end of the day was severely reduced to a mere monitor screen image. Well, Today's video will answer why and how that happened, and also explore what happened to the character of Ana Gonçalves after the original Predator flick. Are you ready? Let's find out then. But before we get into our explanation, we do have one very small request. If you enjoy our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Now, let's begin. I don't know what it was. It's Go on. Who is Anna Gonçalves? Anna is reported to have spent most of her youth in a convent, which means, like it or not, she was actually raised by the nuns there. However, in spite of such an upbringing, she ended up joining the communist rebel movement in Guatemala, and also went to the whole extent of playing a significant part in blowing up many government embassies and other buildings all over the country. Anna, as part of the communist guerrilla force, was eventually reassigned to a group operating in the jungles of Valverde where she became the only member of the rebel camp to survive the ambush led by Dutch and his team, and then taken along as a prisoner. Personality-wise, Anna comes across as someone who is very determined and highly resourceful. She is seen maintaining her calm throughout the course of events, and at the same time, she is not to be trusted at all. Also, let us not disregard the fact that she is highly deceitful. For starters, she almost did make Dutch and his team believe that she did not understand or speak English, and by doing so, she initially dodged most of the questions that were thrown at her, and add to this the constant attempts of trying to escape from there only to get recaptured. In fact, one of her attempts to escape led to the eventual death of the character Hawkins at the hands of the Predator. Fans of the original Predator flick will clearly remember Anna initially trying to attack Dutch from behind with a Walter PP pistol in the hopes of attempting to kill him at the camp, but that was an effort that remained futile, thanks to Dutch knocking her out before. Anyway, with the reality of the situation becoming clear to her in due course, Anna is seen aiding the group however she can. Yes, this includes her helping Dutch and his team construct even a makeshift net so as to trap the Predator. Her character is also seen later confessing to Dutch that she knew of the Predator's existence mainly through all the folk legends that she had heard, which chiefly circled around a demon that would not just kill the prey, but would also mutilate their corpses and add them to his trophy collection. Anna is seen surviving the incident and is spared by the Predator because of the sole fact that she did not carry any weapon with her, something that made her appear both harmless and unworthy as a prey to the Predator. What happened to Anna post the incidents of the original Predator movie? Of course, we will get to that part, but let us rewind a wee bit in terms of the storyline and from Anna's angle. With most members of Dutch's team killed by the Predator, he has Anna sent to the chopper rendezvous point while he chooses to stay behind in order to fight the alien. As for Anna, she not only gets picked up by the rescue helicopter, but is also returned to the base, where she informs Major General Homer Phillips about her encounter with the Predator in the jungle. The final scene of the 1987 movie does have Anna and Phillips returning for Dutch to rescue him, and by then, Dutch had successfully managed to defeat the Predator. Okay, now that we are both on the same page, let us talk about her brief appearance in the second Predator movie. We have Anna gracing us for a little more than a second in Predators 2, in the exposition scene that takes place between the characters Lieutenant Mike Harrigan and Special Agent Peter Keyes. We want to elucidate the sequence further by stating to you that this happens when Harrigan is taken to Keyes' high-tech command center, where Keyes informs him about the kind of creature that they are dealing with. This is precisely when we get to see Anna in one of the small monitors in the background, and we highly suggest that you keep your eyes open here and not even think about blinking, because if you do that, you will undoubtedly miss the moment. Was Anna's appearance in Predator 2 leftover test screening footage? Well, if you must know, that was entirely brand new footage, so here's addressing everyone who thought so otherwise. Now you realize you have been wrong this whole time. The origin of Anna's character to reappear in the second movie goes back to the first draft of the Predator 2 script. The whole point was to build a strong and secure connection 
between the original film and its sequel, and that is why screenwriters Jim and John Thomas wrote a brief return not only for Anna's character, but also for Dutch, mainly in the form of recorded footage. Putting stress on Anna's character and scene here, she was supposed to make an appearance in the form of an excerpt, one that was taken from her debriefing right after the events of the original flick. It said, and we quote, It used the jungle to move, very fast, powerful. It was colored like the chameleon, invisible unless it wanted to be. It was hunting the men, like a game, but only if they had weapons, if they were dangerous. But by the time the next draft was finalized, making Anna reappear was no longer part of the plan. Now, as per sources, after the Thomas brothers got a whiff of actor Arnold Schwarzenegger's inability to make an appearance in the second movie, they had both Anna and Dutch's appearances entirely removed from the second installment. But then something happened, and while we still do not know what exactly took place, something or someone ended up convincing the Thomas brothers that the sequel still needed this stronger connection between Predator and Predator 2, and the rest, as you know, is right in front of you. But having said that, there is a catch. There always is. The footage that had on display the return of Carrillo's character was replayed for the characters Harrigan and Keyes. It was further made evident by a 1990 publicity stunt, which was entirely done to remote the movie. But when the film was released, the debriefing sequence of Anna was nowhere to be found. You will be further shocked to know that there was a two-issue comic adaptation of the second movie that Dark Horse Comic announced shortly after the film was released. Of course, this had fans eagerly waiting for the character of Anna's appearance to be expanded, but sadly and surprisingly, even the comic did not do anything about it. The reason behind the cut continues to remain a mystery to date. Marvelous Verdict Do you think we will ever get to see Anna's interrogation scene? We don't know. And as fans, we would love to see this deleted scene make it its way into a home video release someday. Well, that is all for today. And with this, we finally come to the end of our video here. So, did you fancy the character of Anna Gonsalves? We would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now, if you enjoy this video, then please do leave a thumbs up. Also, stay tuned with us as we promise to come back with more exciting content. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching. Have a nice one.